Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a little video on this. This is something I made back in 2017. It's been sitting in the shop. You know, the kids have been playing with it and whatnot. It's a, it's a kid's dresser. My intent was to put the Legos and some cars in here that are in bins and just have it in the kids' room. But uh, those kids have grown up and now the younger grandchildren are still going to be able to use it. So I want to pursue it. But currently I've got it all structurally made. I have the faces, if you will, for the drawers. But again, when I get this mudded, it's going to be smaller than what's there now. But, you know, in, in essence, I'm just doing that for aesthetics. I want the color to be different on the drawers. And when I, when I actually get it mudded, this shell mudded, then I'll have an opening that I can make the drawers again with foam and cement and a face and get this thing wrapped up. But right now, I'm gonna show you how I made this in the video coming up, and uh, any, anyone can do it. It's just a foam with the, with the glue being uh, great stuff. It's a urethane foam in a spray can, and I just stick it all together, and then you can cut it, sand it, whatever you wanna do, and get it to the profile. Right now, my intent is to keep this thing lightweight. I've increased the strength of my mud, or always do, and then I have this yellow mesh, which I'll put a coat very thin coat of mud, put the mesh, another thin coat of mud. This won't even be like uh, 3 eighths of an inch thick. And the surface area won't be something that'll gather up a lot of weight to where you can't pick it up and move it. So it's gonna be nice to move, but stick with me and we'll show you how we get this thing done. Part two's coming. Okay, starting out here with the uh, kids dresser project that I'd started. And uh, this is a uh, paper template that I originally drew up to create the shape and size design that I wanted to pursue. Now, as far as the foam, I already had some half inch sheets of styrofoam, which actually worked out good because I needed um, the back and the front uh, to be only one inch thick where the sides and the, the drawer stops needed to be inch and a half so I glued three of those together uh, to make those profiles but the sides had a curvature so the half inch was actually good to use because it was flexible now as far as gluing sheets together there's a product out there called great stuff at Lowe's and Home Depot it's a urethane spray in a can and what you do is you get as you'll see me doing here you'll you'll see me spraying some on there stick the two pieces together pull them apart and wait till it dries enough to where it's sticky. You put your finger into the material, there should be nothing on your finger, and yet it's still tacky, very tacky. And that's when you put it together and you don't get them apart. So that's the process there. Okay, so we just stuck the two front pieces together and then took them apart. You can see that at the head of the table on top of the video. Um, now I'm gluing the two front pieces together. So we did the two backs, they're separated. Now we're pushing the two front ones together going to pull them apart so we got four pieces with glue on them and now this one's dried enough that we can stick it together pushing it together set it aside again pushing it together setting it aside now you got to see me cutting the uh the in between the shelf supports the shelf stop or the the drawer stops and i'm going to start gluing those to the actual uh face to start out with and again, same process, stick them in, in with the foam, take it apart, let it tack up, then stick it together. They don't move. Again, here, there, there's three pieces that make the side, you know, because it's an inch and a half thick. On this video clip, I just simply stuck the, the, uh, the first layer, one half inch, because you can't get, you know, an inch and a half to bend like that for the curvature. So now, of course, those three pieces are already on, and now I'm doing the bottom and the top which again is curved. I guess I could have used three sheets and made the curve, but I, I decided just to rip some uh, inch and a half pieces that I already had scrap left and uh, basically just glue them in. I think about it when I watch this video, it was like I was doing brick or block, you know, and just mudding them together. I use a lot more of the urethane foam than probably most would. But it's just like mortar to me. It's just like stick them together. They're confined in between the two sides. And even if it expands, it's not going anywhere. So later, once it's dry, maybe an hour, hour and a half, you take a sharp knife and you can cut off any slag that's sticking out. My white foam, the styrofoam, and the urethane foam both, you could cut them and carve them and sand them. I used uh, body shop uh, tools. It's like a rasp to form uh, or to shape a lot of this stuff that was uh, slaggish. 
uh, around at all the edges where it was a 90 degree corner on all edges, uh, face and back and legs and everything. It was just simple to do with regular tools that you'd like work wood with or, or whatever. But the sanding disc uh, on the grinder was another thing I used. Okay, so I put the lid on. Now I'm gonna take this arm and then this side, I curved it, where I just basically took that and made it to where it's nice and round, unlike this side, which is still, so. I just got this top here, a little bit of carving on this, kind of round it up. 